You know, in life, you come to that fork in the road, you gotta take it, and we're taking it to one speed. Welcome back to where we're trying to get the world sport back on the road. So, again, we're committing to the one speed. Two rings, don't need them. Now, when I look at this bike, it speaks to me. Does it speak to you? If we listen, it's screaming some college campus somewhere. That's a collegiate bike somebody needs. Going to class, one speed, good enough. All right, it's gonna last you longer. But which, which one? We had a one, two, three, four, five, six speed back here, 14 to 15, 17, blah, blah, blah. On the front, we have a 52, 40. We're gonna go ahead and pick the 40, 17. Well, we don't have a 38, 18 for your cycle speedway, so we're not using that. We're gonna go 40 here and a 17. That's gonna be our, our typical one speed, close as what we've got. Okay, so we're trying not to buy parts. So, more on that later. This is gonna have to come off. That selection's gonna put us fairly state, straight chain line, and that's what we're gonna get. So that wheel is gonna come out. Let's have a look at this wheel, starting at the center with our axle. Actually, it feels pretty smooth. There's no bearing play, turns nice. We're gonna leave that for now. Moving outward, eh, nah, spider webs, former home for somebody. They're no, no longer here, it looks like. Clean that out later. Keep going, this is the problem. The rim's not so bad, doesn't seem bent, but rotted, rotted there. That's just, just too much time in the sun. Uh, they're not gonna last forever. No way that this tire is reusable. So, tire's gonna come off. We're gonna take the tire lever. And that's interesting to see if we can, some cracking, some cracking and crunching, and some powder flying as we take this off. It simply could be with the age of this machine that the air has just simply escaped over the years and it's just not holding. Whew. Man, is that nice. Clean up on aisle one here for sure. Out. Quick inspection inside. Oh, looks like we need a new strip here. Exposed and cut. That definitely is a problem. Let's keep going. We're gonna throw some air in this. We're gonna inflate it and we're gonna see a couple of things. Uh, does it hold over time? It's gonna be reusable. If it simply is split. Hmm. Problem. That is nice. Sidewall there, pow. Nice star-shaped hole, uh, not a pinch. So this, this means something let go here. Maybe right here, maybe that, uh, that was our problem. So new tube, looks like it's gonna be a new tube. Patching this one, <laughs> when it's this old, this oxidized, I don't think it's gonna stick so good. We're literally rubbing rubber right off of it. It's coming, the butyl rubber's degrading enough. I'm afraid that's a new one. And yes, luckily, we did order one. So we're gonna get a new tube and a new tire on our wheel. So, one speed, one speed's where it's at. Now, simplest way, what's the simplest way? Have a one speed, don't shift your gears, ever. You got a one speed. We're gonna try and be a little hipper than that. We're gonna get rid of some extra stuff. We're gonna go one ring here. How about one sprocket in the back? That's trickier. A true one speed freewheel is gonna have just the one sprocket. I've got six. I want the 17, can we get rid of the others? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Sometimes there's only one way to find out and that's to get inside. We know that this is a freewheel because as I spin the sprockets, the tool fittings remain stationary. In this older system, all these sprockets are held by the first sprocket which is threaded. 
so it's a lock ring on all the other sprockets. There's no other tool fittings, only the removal of the complete freewheel and this one. So what we do, we're gonna use body weight by working on the ground. We use one chain whip to hold. We can use the second chain whip on this outer sprocket. And so you notice here, we're using body weight and we're pushing down, 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 and they can be tight. Yes, they are tight. So uh, we're gonna try another technique. So what this is gonna be is some impact. Notice the tire's inflated. It's gonna protect our rim. So we're gonna go up and down. And I felt movement. So that's kind of a slow impact wrench. There we are, there's the first one. The second one is also threaded. Very good. And ta-da. Let's get up to the bench and see what this is all about and what changes can happen and maybe what cannot happen. We've taken this apart. The ratchet is still on the hub. That is our freewheel body. But let's look at the sprockets all laid out here. Our 28 here, down, 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 down to our 14. Ideally, I would like them to have this one, the 17. But you'll notice that's a sliding sprocket. It has to have spacers. We have to have many spacers this size go on to take up that room. And this lands just at that edge so that the tooth sprocket can push against it and lock it down. That's tough. This one here, we measure the inside diameter, 52 millimeters. I don't have enough. I don't have enough spacers like this. Thin, but a 52 millimeter ID. Hmm, I'm sorry, I do have them, I do have them. What was I thinking? Ha, huh, there's a spacer, yes. But no, we don't want to do that. We could just put them all back on and pick that single sprocket and be happy. But again, we're hitting, hitting the college factor. Hipness, important here. We're gonna go a single sprocket. It's gonna be the 15 because it's thread on. We're gonna turn this into a one speed with the 15 and our rider, whoever they are, will just have to deal with it. So some anti-seize, we're gonna throw this on. We screwed it down. We could tighten it with the tool, but you know what? This college student is a tool. When they ride, it's gonna tighten. I'm not gonna worry about it. But I am worried about the lack of lubrication and the crunchiness inside. We really need to get this off to do some better lubrication and maybe to pull this. No. That I wanna leave. That's extra chrome. Extra bling, absolutely. The more chrome, the better on this college-bound bike. Two-prong tool, the FR2, fits in here. Turn it counterclockwise, and we're gonna use the vise. It's gonna be the biggest wrench that we have. Let's go see how it's done. To hold the freewheel tools in place, snugly, we're gonna use the axle nut from the bike, and that tool cannot jiggle or go anywhere. Now, into a vise. Secure, tight, normal thread, so here, counterclockwise to get this thing loose, anti-clockwise against the clock. <laughs> that, I'm surprised. I'm surprised it was that easy. And we are off. What is important service here is cleaning. Now there's pinholes there. Ah, tool fittings. Can we take that off? Ah, maybe we can, but don't do it talking to you. Don't do it. Do you want to see what's inside? Maybe one day we'll do that. Leave your comments below if you want to have a peek inside, but why? Why not do it? Nothing can, good can come out of it. Little bitty springs inside can go bad. You can't buy them. Pauls, little pauls that go click, click, click. You can't buy those. The little ball bearings inside, they ain't the problem. It's the springs and pauls you can't service. We can clean it together and flush it and oil it and we're happy. So we're gonna be happy by doing just that. So some solvent. 
little bit of solvent, and then a brush. Brush off the outside just for aesthetics. Then I'm also gonna start dripping some things through the inside and spin it to work the solvent. Ah, that's, do you hear that noise change? The solvent's actually working its way through. I'm gonna do this on this side a little more. Very nice, outside, the back side. Let's try this one too, it's a little stiffer. Bristle, there we are, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, what's important is on the inside, and this is where we could use time. We could set it someplace warm, and we go away, and of course we do study for our college exam, we do all that kind of stuff. We've gone away, we've read a chapter of our favorite English lit, Jane Austen, whatever, Jonathan Strange, maybe, who knows? Now I'm lubing. You hear that? Mmm. Well, the ball bearings are lubricated. And now this side here. Give this a spin. That's what we're after. Now, why not grease those bearings in there? They don't need it. The only time those bearings are working is when you're coasting. You're not, when you're pedaling, bearings aren't doing anything. Now, time to go back on the wheel. And why not? And he sees. So we're gonna put this back on. Nice and straight, run that on. Yes, that's nice. Uh-oh, go back. Oh, it's gonna be shiny in the sun. We've solved a bunch of problems, haven't we? We've got tire on, tube on, it's looking okay. Got our one speed set up, so we gotta cap it all off. Hey, Schrader valve, that is nice. You got lots of options, different valve caps. That caps it for this Tech Tuesday. As we continue down the road on the bike we pulled from the trash, Let's see what happens next time.